in this video, it's going to be a personal vlog and a very important one at that. I have decided to um, get my Mirena removed, my birth control. It's very important for me that I make this video. There was a time when I recommended the Mirena because, I mean, when you're not thinking about the health of your body, <laughs> it's pretty easy, right? You don't have to worry about any kind of protection. You don't have to worry about your period. You don't have to worry about any kind of grossness. I mean, it literally stops everything down there for me anyways. And, um, for a lot of people, it actually is really bad. I mean, causes cramps, implants into their uterine wall. Like it causes excessive bleeding. I know several people that have gotten it removed because it has caused problems for them. It literally hasn't caused any physical problems for me. Maybe in the first couple months I had extreme cramping, like doubled over, couldn't move kind of cramping, which was scary for me um, as it was settling in there. But <laughs> I realized, I mean, I, doing my iridology, I can see that I have a uterine weakness. Um, not only that, my parathyroid is down. I already have problems with my body taking calcium from my body and I have produced three babies in six years and that was a lot on my body. Again, taking calcium and um, obviously affecting my uterus and everything. So I am not in a good shape down there and birth control, no matter what kind you're using, uh, you know, well, birth control from your doctor, <laughs> I should say, is acidic. It causes an acidic environment in your body. So I have an acidic environment in my body so that sperm can't reach an egg. And, it, you know, it's not like it just stays down there. That goes through your entire body. So if you're acidic in your uterus, you're acidic everywhere else. It's not, um, you know, you can't separate that um, contrary to what the, the popular belief is in the allopathic practice. So I'm a little nervous about it coming out. I hope it comes out easy. Um, this is going to be a video that continues. So I'll update you guys later on and maybe I'll even sneak a video into the doctor's office. I probably shouldn't do that. Is that against HIPAA laws? I don't know. I won't record the doctor <laughs> or the procedure. <laughs> Oh my goodness. But no, it's coming out. And then after that comes out, I am healing my body. I, I'm already taking herbs for my kidneys, my lymphatic system, my endocrine system, all those glands, um, and stomach and bowels, parasite G. And after I have my Mirena removed, I'm planning on taking the female reproductive tonic. But as you know, um, if you don't, it's important that you use extra protection when you take those herbs because it makes things very efficient. And hopefully it's going to heal my problems that I've caused down there. Did I say it's important for me to make this video because I recommended it before? I have dear loved one who I wish I never recommended it in the first place because she already had problems with her kidneys, um, and then um, problems with lymph nodes in her chest area, and me recommending that was just the stupidest thing I could have done, not knowing it. So I've already mentioned to her that it's um, different than what we, we thought, you know, to think about it as your body as a whole. It's very convenient, but it's just going to cause a lot of long-term problems and problems that you don't even realize are connected with it. You know, it's funny because I really didn't want to have it when I was pregnant with my third child. I, you know, of course they pressure you to choose a birth control after and especially if you don't want any more kids and I didn't want any more. I don't want any more. Three is a lot and they're all close in age and they're all in the, you know, it's a lot. It's a lot for those little ones. And um, I love them. I'm so grateful for them. But one more would probably be too much. And I remember talking to my doctor saying that I don't want a birth control that's going to be 
um, hormonal. And she said, oh no, this isn't hormonal. This is just an implant. And it's like, well, if it's not hormonal, like, <laughs> okay. So I remember being okay with that because I didn't want to remove any of my body parts. I didn't want to take any hormones. I really don't care what it does, except for the fact that it makes my uterus acidic. If my uterus is acidic, the entire body is acidic. I cannot wait to see what my body does after I start taking the female reproductive tonic, after I start healing that. Hopefully everything will be in better working order down there because it's not. <laughs> Should I get into the details? I don't know. Like that's pretty personal, but it's, um, I might cut this out. <laughs> Let's see. It's dry, numb, I'm not in touch with my cycle. I feel very unconnected to my body. That's not so bad. That's not as graphic as I thought it would be. Maybe a little for some people, but I should put a warning in this video before somebody watches it. Like, warning, graphic nature. <laughs> I don't know. But it's important. It's important for females and it's important for partners to understand what if you're urging your partner to get this, what it could do to their body, it's it's not a good thing. So there's other natural methods. You know, you can use natural um, contraceptives. You can get in tune with your body. There's this whole cycle. And once I learn more about that, once I learn more how my cycle works, I, I'm gonna totally share that with you guys because it's so important to be in tune with it. I mean, it's, you know, it's important to know when you ovulate. You can take your basal temperatures, see when you're um, most fertile and avoid intercourse on those days and um, why not be in more touch with your body it's it's so important to know what your body's doing I feel very unconnected and I can't tell you how not nice that feels so this is turning into a long video yeah I'll see you guys later after it's removed I'll tell you um, how I'm feeling and everything, wish me luck because I, <laughs> I'm a little nervous for it hurting. <laughs> it should be fine. Love you guys. I'm here. I'm a little nervous. Wish me luck. <laughs> that was easy and wasn't bad at all. So I'm back home hanging out with the kids <laughs> and I was just thinking about it and um ah, I am so happy I did that it's like I'm taking control of my own body it's like the final step for me to be in control of my body and to really detox it to the deepest level I can possibly do it using the fruits, berries, melons, herbs, raw fruit, vegetables, the, you know, the herbal tinctures and whatnot. Like I am taking charge. I am trying to heal my body. And that was the last step. You know, I was looking it up. I will cut to um, the hormone that was in the marina. I ended up looking it up after. I couldn't look it up beforehand because I just would have been a much mm, more nervous wreck before ah. there's a hormone in it and it's the same hormone that is in plan b so i had that hormone you know like the emergency abortion pill i had that hormone in me for two, almost two years that to me is crazy can you imagine what that did to my body i don't know it's just crazy I don't recommend that to anyone. Not medical advice, just my personal experience, but do not recommend it. <laughs> um, do your research on it. You know, I didn't even know that, that that hormone was in it. It's a synthetic hormone of progesterone and any kind of hormone, especially synthetic, is, you know, you're putting that in your body. Your body's going to try to balance that out and, I don't know, it's just crazy. <laughs> Video's done. Thank you guys for watching. Say bye-bye. Bye. See you later, alligator.